Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life, and welcome back to our first real life post cruise video. Yep. We're back home, we're in Anchorage, we're in the Jeep, and we are actually heading to the airport. <laughs> uh, we are not going anywhere. Correct. We are picking up a friend of ours. Yep. Our friend Jordy is gonna spend the weekend with us. Uh, she's from the Bay Area, and we are, we're super excited. We're so excited. We have lots of fun Alaskan adventures planned this weekend while she's here. It's a quick trip, a short trip, mm -hmm. and, um, we better get to the airport so we can pick her up. Yep. All right, we just got to the airport. Let's talk a little bit about Jordy. Yep. Um, she's gonna be here for like three days, I think, or so. Three and a half, four-ish, yep. Um, we actually met Jordy's parents first. We did, on one of our earlier cruises. So mm -hmm. the bag that I carry on all of our cruises, that's like that little black one. The crossbody? Mm-hmm, is, is from her mother. And you've had that for a long time. I've had that for a long time. We were trying to remember what cruise we met them on, and I can't remember. It was one of our earlier ones. And then we met Jordy in person um, on the viewer cruise. Mm -hmm. Her and her parents came on the viewer cruise. And uh, she had a weekend off and thought, why not come see Alaska? And part of living in Alaska, this is this is part of living in Alaska, is that you are the host home for everybody who wants to see Alaska. Which we love. And I was gonna say, and I think that's freaking awesome. <laughs> we love it. Love it, love it, love it. So we're going to do some fun activities. Um, but one unique thing that we're doing later today is all, <laughs> <laughs> this is the first guest we have ever had who wanted to do this. Yep. What are we doing? We're all getting tattoos. <laughs> all three of us are getting tattoos later today. Yep. So you guys are gonna see in this vlog, you're gonna see tattoos, you're gonna see Alaskan adventures, you're gonna see just all sorts of fun goodness. A lot of food. A lot of food, for <laughs> sure. Um, so let's go, let's go inside and uh, let's get a friend. So again, here we are at the top floor of the parking garage at Anchorage International. And I wanna show you, normally there would be a beautiful view, a clear view of the Chugach Mountains. Um, they are covered in, well, what looks like haze. It's actually just kind of smoke. Apparently while we were on our cruise, it was super smoky here in Anchorage uh, from wildfires, not really near here, just the smoke blowing in. And uh, today, it's definitely a hazy one. You can see Sherry Beth has our welcome family sign. This has become part of our picking up people at the airport routine. Yeah. And it's fun because when you and Auburn made it, like this was what you had in mind. Yeah. That it would just get used over and over, and it does. So here we are at the place where people come through when they land. Now, we wait. All right, Sherry's got the app pulled up here, and it shows that her flight has arrived. There she is. All right, so here we are at the whole look body art studio to get our tattoos. Here we are back in Sherry's tattoo studio. This is where Sherry got her tattoo last time you guys saw this. That's where all three of us are getting tattoos today. She just uh, printed some of them out, tested for size. Now she's off making stencils and then uh, let's get going. So it is the next day. Jordy got here yesterday. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about yesterday. <laughs> Because yesterday did not go as planned. Um, we went to get tattoos. The three of us were gonna get tattoos. Sherry got a tattoo, Jordy got a tattoo, and then when it came my turn to get a tattoo, it was like 9 p.m. And our tattoo artist was kind of like, I'm feeling pretty tired, would you mind if we rescheduled? Um, pro tip in life, don't get tattooed by a tired artist. And so I was like, yes, 100%, let's reschedule. So I did not get my tattoo. I am a little bit bummed about it, not gonna lie, um, just because it's the design I'm excited to get tattooed. Um, but it will happen, it will happen in time. And then, by the time we got to the tattoo studio, it was like 9.30 and we were struggling to find a place to have dinner. So we went downtown, we had palmanis, which are Russian dumplings. Then we just kind of came back here, chatted for a little bit and crashed. So it is the next day. We have a bunch of things planned for today. Jordy and I are about to head downtown. We're gonna get reindeer hot dogs for lunch. We're gonna go to the Native Heritage Center. And then Sherry's gonna be done with work. So we're gonna come back here and get Sherry. We're gonna go to the Wildlife Conservation Center. And then we're going to Hope, Alaska to have dinner tonight at the Dirty Skillet. Holy cow, today's gonna be full, so let's go. All right, stop at number one, uh, Uncle Leroy's Coffee. It is just my favorite place. Uh, they serve it currently out of this bus here at the corner of Spard and Fireweed. Uh, Jordan and I both got the exact same thing. It is a 
cold brew made with their whiskey beans. They actually soak coffee beans in whiskey and it's just like, it gives it the best, best flavor. So it's a nice start on this sunny but smoky Alaska day. All right, now we are downtown Anchorage getting lunch here at Tia's getting reindeer dogs because on a beautiful day, this is the perfect lunch. And actually, it's funny, you can see a lot of people here in downtown, which is something we haven't seen a lot the last couple of years. So it definitely feels a lot like it used to. All right, I went with a mild reindeer. Jordy went with a spicy. We've got basically the exact same thing though. Onions, cheese, relish, ketchup, and mustard. All right, so here we are at the Alaska Native Heritage Center. Uh, have not been here yet this year, so super excited to check it out. So our very first mode of transportation is we walked everywhere, so we have the general traveling motion. And when we uh, travel in our kayaks and canoes, we paddle. And uh, nowadays we have outboard motors for our boats. So we just left kind of the presentation stage. Now we're over here into the side of the Heritage Center that is, it feels very much like a traditional museum. They have lots of different displays and we've walked through this a number of times on our vlogs. But one of the things I'm so excited about is all of the makers, all the different artists and craftsmen and women from around the state here selling their work. All right, so now we are exploring some of the different, some of the different houses here around the Alaska Native Heritage Center. And inside this one, you can see we have the sled there. We have the moose antlers. A whole table of stuff over here. One of the things I think is interesting are the porcupine quills. Kind of cool right there. Uh, these used for a lot of earrings, jewelry. See a lot of that stuff. And then down here we have, you can see the birch basket, the beaded slippers with the fur rough along them. Very cool stuff. All right, so one of my favorite things about the Heritage Center is all of the different houses they have as you kind of walk around the main lake here are very interactive. Like they have a lot of different furs, they have a lot of different, just like tools and things that you can just interact with and touch and feel. And I just think that's so cool. Even, like I love this, like the grass weaving. Like look at how, look at how amazing that is. So I really love that. Also there's just like a, alarm clock that's not traditional and here's that main lake so we came in kind of up there looked at a bunch of the booths over there actually saw a friend of mine doug who had a booth selling a bunch of his crafts and so we kind of have walked around all the way around the lake and now we are here look how cool this is so now we are here in kind of the southeast alaska area the clinket haida shimshian uh here's the big totem they have in that area and then over here you can see the just kind of the big outdoor space and then we're going to go in the house right up here i think of all of them this is my favorite and one of the reasons is that i'm just such a i'm just such a big fan of like totems and the art of this part of our state and again now we're inside the cedar house and i just love it because you have kind of the four totems one totem there one totem here another one over here So they do have an amazing gift shop here at the Native Heritage Center with just lots of different stuff. Like, you know, things you'd expect, ornaments, keychains, but then some amazing things like skateboards, basketballs, umbrellas. I love it so much. Well, we are leaving the Native Heritage Center. Um, that was the busiest I have seen it in a couple of years, which honestly is so nice. It's so great to see uh, people actually back here. I remember in 2020, when we came here, uh, I don't know that we saw another person. If we did, it was only a couple. Last year, we came here with the Zachmans, and it was busier, but still not as busy. This year, Jordy gets to see it like it's always been. Like, this is what I remember pre-pandemic Heritage Center being. So it feels like, it feels like it's back. There were a lot of different groups, lots of people everywhere we went. Um, again, I think if you visit Anchorage, I think this place is a must stop. All right, so we've been home. 
we have picked up Sherry, we have Jordy, and we are out here now at the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center as we head to Hope, Alaska for dinner. And um, we just thought we'd stop by here and do a quick drive through, see what the animals are up to on this sunny day. So we just got to the bear exhibit here at the Wildlife Conservation Center. And again, we've been here a ton of times. We've vlogged here a lot of times, but this is new and actually pretty cool. Um, these are new like signs, displays about the different sizes of bears. You can see size of a black bear, size of a brown bear, size of a polar bear. That's pretty cool. Well, we found one of the bears. You can see down there in the grass lane, kind of on the, on the beach, it's using like a rock as a pillow. So we're out here by the reindeer and look, there are a couple little babies. Got a little reindeer baby here, another one over there. That one's peeing and cool, good job buddy. All right, so here we have the danger coyotes. Just running back and forth. All of the animals are like shedding fur. Like everything from the wood bison to the coyotes, the reindeer, they're all dropping lots of fur right now. All right, so this is crazy. We've been here in the snow, we've been here in the rain, and we've seen animals out, but apparently there's something about the wind on like a warm day. Like this porcupine's in his house, that porcupine over there's in his house, the bears were sleeping. Pretty much everything is just like, <laughs> sleeping today. Look at this, we got the wolves. They're out. Hey, buddy. Got one here, a couple over there. They also looking a little bit rough. Well, our quick trip through the Conservation Center ends it where pretty much every trip to the Conservation Center ends here in the gift shop. Uh, looking at some stickers, looking at the different things they have. It does have lots of Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center postcards. And I kind of love the hairdo on the porcupine. What do you think? I mean, it looks like you in the morning. I don't, <laughs> it looks like you in the morning. Oh gosh. Do you remember Wildlife Conservation Center specific postcards before? No. I love I that love they have it. these. These are kind of cool. Sherry pointed these out. They actually have Moscow Mule gift sets that have the Wildlife Conservation Center logo on there. I know a certain friend who loves Moscow Mules who would enjoy those. I just heard my name, which always means we're gonna spend some money. Oh my gosh. It is adorable. All right, so we're here in the town of Hope, Alaska. Just took a bunch of photos because look how beautiful this is. Um, and Sherry's gonna try a TikTok fun fact. Hold on, Sherry, I had not heard this before. So I heard on TikTok. Which you know is true. Obviously, that uh, dandelion seeds are water resistant. So okay. You can, like, put this in the water and it will hold its shape. Yeah, but then Jordy, made a really good point that if you put that in the river the current will blow it off oh like in one of the soft spots i'm very curious to see if this is true also for the love of goodness please don't fall in the river oh no way there is no way that oh, wait okay you guys watch this it goes in it looks like it's totally what Are you kidding me? Okay, bye. You can see the Hope Campground absolutely packed. It is hopping, which makes sense because it is a beautiful weekend. Uh, I do wanna show you guys though the smoke, like look how crazy this is. This would normally be totally clear and it's, it, yeah. It's nuts. It's actually not so bad right here as far as like the smell. You can definitely smell that it's smoky, but it's not like, it's not overwhelming, but it's when you look at the mountains and the forest around us that you can definitely tell because it is not, not as clear as it should be. And I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but even the color of the sky looks smoky. But enough about the smoke because we are off to the dirty skillet for dinner. Uh, we have reservations at 8 p.m. It's like 7.40 p.m. So by the time we get there, it'll be kind of close. Uh, this is a restaurant we went to once before last year when Auburn was here. And it is, you guys, 
one of the best dining experiences we have had in a long, long time. The food was amazing, the setting was amazing, the service was cool, and it's just one of those places that I think we're gonna start taking people to when they visit Alaska in the summer because it is so darn good. So, let's go get dinner with the Dirty Skillet. All right, so here we are at the Dirty Skillet. I'm so excited, and this is really cool. This new building over here uh, is new from last year. They built it over the winter, it's so nice. You can see the restrooms over there. That looks awesome. And uh, here we go for dinner. Here's the menu at the Dirty Skillet. Um, appetizers, a few of them. We're actually getting the salmon spread and the crab cakes because you only live once. Uh, I got the chicken sutra, so this is brand new. It's a crunchy chicken burger inspired by travels to India. I'm fascinated by that. However, I'm gonna be splitting that with Sherry, who got the sesame chicken. So I'm gonna get half sesame chicken. Yeah, you did. And Jordy went with the ball and chain burger, which is what Sherry got last time we were here. And then we're also probably gonna get desserts. All right, so our appetizers are here. Our salmon spread uh, looks awesome. The crab cakes, we know those are good. You guys, there are like dogs all over the place. Uh, there's food, there's drinks. I'm, I'm in heaven. This kid down here, 100% me, laying on the floor with the dog. I'm so, I'm so jealous. If I could do that without being judged, I would do it. Also, uh, Sherry, when you talk about this, you are normally not a salmon fan. We've talked about that in vlogs before. You just went back in for seconds on the salmon dip. I did. This is actually pretty good. It's not fishy. Nope. You can. I think. I think Jordy put it perfect. That you can tell it's salmon, but not because it's fishy. Right. Love it. All right, you guys. Food has arrived. Here's the chicken sutra with the rosemary fries, uh, Sherry's sesame chicken. Yes, yes, yes. That is one of the best smelling dishes in Alaska. That's correct. I just want to eat all of that. Jordy's burger. Oh, good job, Jordy. Get your photos. <laughs> Love it. Best dinner ever. Are you kidding me? All right, so April, who is the chef here, came out and talked to us for the longest time. And while she was out here, she told us about this. This is her dessert creation called the Elvis. It even has an E on top. It is peanut butter, banana, bacon, and chocolate ice cream. Heck yes. And then Sherry and Jordy both got the lemon blueberry pie. All right, Dirty Skillet. Another absolutely unbelievable dinner. It was so crazy, you guys, because, um, like I said, April, who's the chef here, came out and talked to us for a while. And she, she's amazing. Like, I'm telling you, we have been all over the state, uh, eating lots of food around Alaska, and the Dirty Skillet, I really do think is one of the very best meals in the entire state. I love the setting, I love outside. On a nice night like tonight, there's live music. It's not huge, there's only a few other people. Everybody we've ever talked to here has been crazy friendly. Um, this is a place that we, I think we're gonna start coming to quite a bit. All right, good morning friends, it is the next day and uh, we are out and about. It is like 9.30 in the morning and check out where we're starting our day. You can see we have Sherry, we have Jordy. And here we are at the South Anchorage Farmer's Market. It's actually our first trip to the Farmer's Market this year. So let's see what kind of fun stuff we can find. So one thing we haven't purchased yet are hanging baskets. And they actually have hanging baskets here, two for $50. Um, we were actually thinking about not getting hanging baskets this year just because we've been doing a lot of traveling and we don't want them just to die while we're away. But that's a good price. All right, so we've made a couple purchases so far. We bought a big thing of romaine. Now we're buying a wonderful bunch of cilantro. And then I think we need some green onions and I think we need some bok choy and to explore that side of the market. Farmer's market, a huge success. Um, actually a lot more veggies than I expected. That was great. Now, coffee. Jordy's a huge coffee fan, so we're trying to give her like a tour of Anchorage's best coffee shops. Uh, today's stop, Steam Dot Coffee. All right, filling up with gas before we leave town for our next adventure. And I wanna show you guys kind of what gas prices are right now in Anchorage and uh, hear from you what, uh, what they are where you live. So you can see regular, 
559 mid grade 579 premium oof almost six dollars and just like that ninety dollars to fill up the jeep all right so now we are at a place that may seem very random uh we are at be well chiropractic in wasilla but we're not here to get chiropractic services done we are here because our friends ben and amanda bacher uh have their food truck here and jordy while she's in alaska wanted to try expedition barbecue so we are here to get expedition barbecue here's the reason we drove to Wasilla today. All right, so lunch is served. Jordy and Sherry both got the exact same thing. You guys got the mac bow, so mac and cheese, pulled pork, barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I was gonna get that, but I just, I had to get the barbecue sundae. It's coleslaw, it's pulled pork, it's mac and cheese, it's baked beans. Get in there. It's perfect. Well, we did pretty good, you guys. Sunday's gone. Mac boats are gone. I think this was a success. All right, so we don't really know what's going on over here. There's a booth that has a parrot, and then back behind it, there's a potbelly pig, and it's Alaska Potbelly Pig Rescue, but there's a parrot, and I don't, I'm just, I don't know what's happening, you guys. All right, next stop we gotta get is uh, the lemonade stand over here. Gracie told me I had to get lemonade from her, so let's go do it. There's Gracie, let's get lemonade. All right, we are leaving the Be Well Chiropractic community event. We bought some lemonade from Gracie. It is time to hit the road. So, off to Talkeetna we go. All right, so on the way to Talkeetna, we pulled off the road and came to Zanali Brewing Company because uh, they opened an amazing new space. Sherry Beth, what do you think about this place? It's really cool. They do like pizza over here. They have food, they have a full food menu. You can see the bar over here to order. Uh, they have a ton of outdoor seating. It's crazy because this is like, I don't know, probably more than like 10 times the size it used to be. Like it's huge, entire like merch wall. Very impressive. Uh, yeah, what do you, you got a, oh, it's called the Seattle Kraken Raspberry Lemon Drop. I went with some beers um, and I'm ending with the coffee whiskey. It's great. You did try it. All right, so here we are in the town of Talkeetna, Alaska. Just pulled in. And the first stop is actually going to be the ranger station here in Talkeetna. We have never visited. And look at this. This is kind of fun. The 2022 climbing season. So one of the things that Talkeetna is most known for is uh, this is kind of the place, the jumping off point for everybody who's going to climb Denali. And you can see there have been 1,100 people that have registered to climb Denali. There are currently 219 people on the mountain. Dang. 627. Yeah, 627 of them have already summited. That is fascinating. All right, so here is the ranger station. This is a really nice place, actually. You can see beautiful fireplace. They got the moose rack up there and you guys look what I just saw at first I thought it might be like a little plush it's a cat hi hi kitty oh my gosh this is the best day ever dogs at dinner last night cats in the ranger stations today this is really cool in the ranger station they actually have the um the stamp here the passport stamp for the national park passport Let's see if it will focus there Maybe not, but it says Denali National Park and Preserve, Talkeetna, Alaska. Very cool. Now, the reason we drove to Talkeetna, Talkeetna spinach bread. Oh, this is my favorite. So we got their Brazilian limeades. We got some of their blueberry rhubarb crisp. But more importantly, you guys, we've got a dog. This is just the best. There was a cat, now there's a dog, and I'm just completely happy. Okay, so we're just leaving Talkeetna, and right outside of town, there's this overlook, and we've stopped here and vlogged before. Um, you can see, beautiful blue sky, not as smoky here as it is in Anchorage, but there are clouds over there, and I'm gonna zoom in, because I wanna see, can any of you see the super faint outline of Denali? Is it showing up in the camera at all? Because there is the Gosh, just like most barely noticeable, even with the human eye, outline of Denali right there. This is one of the best views of the mountain on a nice day, um, without clouds, without smoke. 
We can kind of see it, but uh, not really. Good morning, friends. It is the next day. Kind of a lazy morning. Uh, it's Sunday here in Anchorage. Jordy's actually heading home today, so we're kind of just uh, hanging out here at the house, taking her to the airport in a couple of hours, but I am struggling to wake up this morning, so here's what I need. It is coffee time. All right, now the morning can start. We were at a friend's yard sale yesterday, and she was trying to get us to basically take everything that she, <laughs> that she had. And we've been using this little plastic lazy susan. I think we got it at Bed Bath & Beyond uh, to kind of hold all of our liquor bottles. But one of the things that she had at her sale was this wooden one. And I was like, oh, heck yes. So that looks so much better than that. You can see it's actually kind of a gross rainy day outside. There's a bunch of clouds, a bunch of smoke. We woke up and saw the ground was wet, which is kind of crazy. Had no idea it was supposed to rain. But we definitely need the rain because right now in Alaska, it's crazy. The fire danger is like as high as it gets. And so rain is a very, very good thing. It was just an unexpected thing because Sherry, like one of the first things she said when she woke up, she's like, I think it's raining or I think it rained. And I was like, wasn't supposed to, but it did. So the Alaska trip has come to an end. Yep. We're taking Jordy to the airport here in like, oh gosh, less than an hour. Your first time to Alaska. Yeah. How was it? Did it live up to expectations? Like, how was Alaska? It, Alaska's amazing. Yeah. Um, so this trip was originally going to be very different for me because originally I was going to come by myself and stay in a hotel. And I messaged you guys to be like, hey, can I see you? Can we meet up? Yeah. <laughs> and then got to actually stay with you guys yeah. <laughs> and it's different because I so I'm legally blind like you guys know yeah. so I don't drive I can't get a rental car and it's very limited to just Anchorage then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so getting to go to Tequitna going to Dirty Skillet yeah. which are places that I can't walk to no. right no, <laughs> like no. that's just not no. an option not easily like it, yeah. it, I could it just take a couple days yeah. <laughs> um so it's been really cool because I got to experience things that just weren't on the table otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of the things that, as Jordy mentioned, I would say we've known, like since we've known you almost, mm -hmm. that you were blind. And I didn't want to start the video, like this video, and there's a reason we're ending this video talking about this, not starting the video, mm -hmm. is that it was important to me that like what you guys got to watch was like the same way we've had lots of friends visit us in Alaska mm -hmm. and you got to watch them experience Alaska just without any, I don't know, bias or preconceived yeah. notions, right? That you got to watch this video as well. Mm -hmm. But Jordy, one of the things that I, I think you have such a unique perspective of is you experienced Alaska in a very different way. Mm -hmm. So as somebody who's blind, like what was Alaska, what was Alaska like? Like, is it the kind of place, like if you don't have friends that you can stay with, yeah. Like, is Alaska still a place to visit? I think it is. Um, and one of the reasons why I even thought I could do this trip by myself was, I don't remember if it was in a YouTube video or Instagram mm -hmm. Live, when the um, rental car shortage was happening, you talked about how do you do Alaska without a rental car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely more like research and like prep work you would have to do, because mm -hmm. I can't just decide to go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's definitely doable. It's just different though. Yeah. So much of the state really is, and this trip has helped me to realize that so much of the state really is not very accessible. No. Right. You know, I mean, if you, right. if you fly into Anchorage and you have a rental car, there's a lot of places you can go. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, it's like the train. Mm -hmm. There are some like buses, mm -hmm. but not a lot. Like you're pretty confined. Yeah. Right? Uh, or you're paying the money to do it with a tour company. And That's you're doing right. it on their term, on their schedule. Right. Yeah. And right. it's doable, and I'm sure it's still great, but it's just different. It's just totally. really different. And it, it was, um, you were very involved in the planning of, mm -hmm. like, the things that we did. Yes. Well, and, <laughs> well, 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 one of the things that I love, though, is that you, so Sherry and I have had, just so you guys know, we have had a million questions for Jordy over mm -hmm. this whole trip. Yeah. He's because been very gracious in answering all of our <laughs> stupid questions. Because like, <laughs> we want to know. Um, and we've had so many people visit us in Alaska, and we kind of do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like we'll go to Seward, we'll go to Whale Cruise, we'll go to, like, we'll do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But 
we had to have the conversations this time and be like, well, wait a second. Like, but what do you want to do and what will you enjoy mm -hmm. being able to experience? Because I can't go on a whale cruise and see the whales. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a fun boat ride, but... Uh, <laughs> it's, an, it's an expensive boat ride. It's an expensive boat ride. <laughs> yeah, very expensive <laughs> for a boat ride. Yeah, yeah. without a doubt. Um, but we had a great four days. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, we did a lot too. We, we mm -hmm. did a lot, we ate a lot. A lot of good food. <laughs> there, really a lot was. Of food. there really was a lot of good food. Um, mm -hmm. I think that, so some of you watching will will remember this if you're part of our Instagram community, but uh, during the pandemic, I went live on Instagram a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> and, and a few times I kind of brought people into those lives to just kind of have a discussion. And one of those that I, I think I, I will never forget mm -hmm. was when you came into an Instagram live mm -hmm. and really we talked about, we talked about blindness mm -hmm. and that sounds strange, but for me, um, and I think we all do this to a certain extent, we think that people's, um, we think that the way that people experience life must be the way that we experience life, the way that I do, yeah. right? It's, right? It's ableism, that like it's, yeah. your experience must be like mine. And you helped me understand that, because what I thought, and I know this is ignorant, but it's just what I thought, that blindness was a black and white issue, right? It was, it was all or nothing. You can see or you can't. Yeah. That's right, and if you can see but poorly, it's just like, oh, you just have bad vision. A, you know, somewhere along and there. And you can put on glasses and... Totally, it's better. There's something you can do to fix it. Exactly. Right. And so you've helped me understand this in, like, in a way that I never would have. Right. And I think that's one of the reasons that it, it was important for me to end the video this way was that, I don't know, that there's people out there who may be wondering, well, can I visit Alaska? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, or is Alaska just one of those places that I'll never get to experience? Mm -hmm. um, but you got to experience Alaska. Yeah. And I think one thing is, if you are disabled, you kind of know the things you can do. You know your limitations and you know the resources you need. Yeah. And just hearing that, oh, you can do Alaska without a car. Because that, mm -hmm. I know, is my big limitation. Because there are some things you, you need a car for. For like, sure. Yeah. I'm not walking to Tequila. <laughs> no, right. Nor should you. No, nor should you. <laughs> but like, I, once I heard that there were resources for that, mm -hmm. I felt like I had permission to try. Yeah. And so, yeah, it, blindness isn't black and white. I do have vision. Um, and it's kind of learning how to work within that. Yeah. Right. And there are a lot of things you can do if you're disabled, um, but you have to do the extra work. Right. You've mm -hmm. been so gracious to us with our questions. I mean, if, <laughs> because we really did want to understand like what, right. mm -hmm. I didn't want to take you to do something yeah. that is like, hey, Guess what? <laughs> Can't hey, do this. There's a whale way out there. <laughs> yeah, well, and that is different yeah. because, like, even even yesterday, so we were driving back from Tahini yesterday, mm -hmm. and there was like a moose right alongside the road. Yeah. But a lot of wilderness in Alaska, like wildlife, you're driving down the highway and it's like, look, there's a moose butt. You know what I mean? <laughs> and there so is. it's like, look, there's a moose, and it's just like, like you experience it in a different way than we're used to. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that has really helped us, and I just want to thank you because, like, yeah. you have been so gracious to us um, yeah. in answering your questions. And you guys approach the questions in a way if you want to know, you want to understand, you're not trying to be a jerk about it. Right. And, like, for me, I'm not going to speak for all disabled people because I should never do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for me, if I would rather have people ask a ton of stupid questions earnestly and wanting to know than them being ignorant and then acting out of ignorance mm -hmm. right like it's better just to ask those questions and get answers from people yeah but do it like with kindness do it with empathy and do it out of a genuine wanting to understand well if we did one thing this trip it was eat really good food and yes. ask really dumb questions ask but a you've lot been really ask a lot of dumb questions but you you really have been gracious but we really yeah. did want to know like yeah. we yeah. just yep yeah we just we just want to know yeah. like how you experience the world yeah and i love that you were willing to ask those questions yeah 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 it, <laughs> and it helped it helped us understand yeah. like it helped us i mean for, for lack of a better word it helped us see alaska through the way you would experience yeah. it mm -hmm. you know and that was we've experienced alaska a lot of different ways with a lot of different mm -hmm. people and for us it was special to have a new experience yeah you know so it was cool so do you want to come back to alaska definitely yes yeah. that's the goal <laughs> we were planning it last night we're already yeah okay we, we, we already planning. have something going <laughs> Okay, well, surprise, surprise. Um, I'm, a, I'm out of the loop, apparently. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. Uh, it was 
it was a ton of fun. It was so cool to get to go around and do stuff. Um, what were your highlights? Man. Um, highlights were like, honestly, the drives where we just got to talk, yeah. like, I love hanging out with you guys. Um, the Tequina Spanish bread was amazing. <gasps> yep. That little yeah. ranger station we ended up, because we needed to park somewhere, so we went in. It, <laughs> it was, was free parking if you were going into the ranger station. It, it was, was so really good. Cool. I know. We went in. It was the really, finale inside. Yeah. Um, oh, the cat. That was oh, the best yeah. cat. <laughs> but just like a lot of it was just spending time yeah. with people. Yeah. yeah. Um, best yeah. bite. Best bite of food of the whole trip. Ooh. That's hard. <laughs> There was so much good food. It was so much good food. We have a lot of leftovers. Oh that's, my gosh. Our fridge is packed. Today. <laughs> um, Expedition Barbecue definitely is up mm, there. Mm -hmm. And getting to meet Ben, because I've known yeah. through the Instagram group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was special. Um, the reindeer hot dog was really good. I'm so, I'm so glad you yeah. like it. So there are things that, <laughs> this is one of the weird things about having people visit, is that there are things that we love, mm -hmm. and we talk up, like we show in a lot of videos, but then it's just like, what if they hate this stuff? Like, like what if you think it's gross? It's like, right. well, if you do, that's fine, yeah. but. You're allowed to, but it's also just like. Oh. <laughs> our friends oh. hate our stuff. <laughs> Pretty much anything April made at the Dirty Skillet. Oh. Like, that food is too good, and I'm mad that you've only been there twice. I'm mad I've only been there twice. <laughs> I asked Sherry earlier, I was like, Sherry, do you wanna to go to dinner tonight? It's like, no, we have leftovers. Like, no, you guys <laughs> live here, and why aren't you going there? I know, I feel bad about that. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. But like all of it's been good. Like there hasn't been a bad thing. That you that's also because you know where to go. Sure. Right. We've yeah. done it before. Yeah, we're we places kind of live here. Take you. Kind of live here. Yeah. It was a great <laughs> trip. It was a cool trip. It was a unique trip. It was yep. different than anything we've done before, which I I loved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think for us that was our favorite. You know, the reason that we love having people visit is not even so much that it gives us any reason to experience Alaska. Mm -hmm. It's it's exactly what you said. It's the car rides. Yeah. It's the conversations. It's the talking in the living room. It's it's all of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And so we did cool stuff this trip. Yeah. We right? Did. We got to eat great food. But it I think the the highlight of the trip was just the time together and mm -hmm. getting to hang out. So thanks yeah. for coming to Alaska. Yeah, thanks for letting me like stay with you guys. You're welcome. Of course. Well yeah. she was like <laughs> And initially just like can we just like meet up and we're like i mean you're going to be staying with us so probably yeah probably like, what? <laughs> well and i think we might have said this in the intro of this video i don't remember we actually we've known your parents longer than we've known you so we're yeah. kind of your parents friends yeah no i'm just kidding we're your friends <laughs> no. No, but like you are friends with my parents i know but i have also a separate friendship from that right right but now you get to go home and like hold it over your mom's head that's like oh yeah well i stayed I in their house there. so if i want to live in my house when I get home, then probably not. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. Well, we do love you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we have to, well, we have to eat some leftovers. Mm -hmm. And then we have to get to the airport. All right, so we talked about leftovers. And you can see there's leftovers, leftovers. I think there's more leftovers. Got some Cooking. Some <laughs> <air> <laughs> Cooking some dirty skillet. Uh, sesame chicken, leftovers in the cast iron. Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> Sorry, Auburn. <laughs> exactly. Um, Sherry is making um, or warming up the crab grilled cheese from 49th State in the air fryer. I feel like we were just here a few days ago. We are back at Anchorage International Airport. There goes our friend. She's going home. That was a fun trip though. It was a ton of fun. We did a lot. We, in just a few days, we did a lot. <laughs> we're ending the vlog the same place we started it, at the airport. At the airport. We started this vlog upstairs, outside. We're ending it in the basement, <laughs> in the parking garage. Um, Sherry Bath, how was how was Jordy's trip? It was so much fun. Um, so we got to hang out with Jordy on the viewer cruise, mm -hmm. um, which was great. But this was this was a lot more like individual time together, which was fantastic. I really enjoyed getting to know her a little bit more and um, really kind of finding out, you know, just asking more like questions and understanding a little bit more. It was cool to get, so again, we met Jordy's parents first, and then on the viewer cruise, it was Jordy and her parents. Mm -hmm. um, and this was cool just to get like, just time with her, just to get to know who she is. Yep. And it was just, it was really cool, it was really great. I love that, uh, again, uh, we talked about this when we did the sit down part. Um, when she first reached out to us, she was just trying to figure out kind of how to do Alaska on her own and visit and that kind of stuff. And like, could we just meet up a couple of times? And this just, I, I think this worked out so much better being able to yes. do it like this. Yes. And I love that we got to, I don't know, show off a bit of our state. 
Yeah. It was a ton of fun. Um, yeah, so she will be back. She'll be back. Without a doubt, apparently you two are already scheming. Um, <laughs> we had amazing weather while she was here. It has been smoky, which is lame, um, but today is a little bit cloudy. We had a little bit of rain. Yep. Oh, we joked that Alaska was sad she was leaving. Yep, yep, but, crying. But, but gosh, <laughs> what a fun few days. Yes, it was. Um, and you guys, our vlogs have been crazy, right? Like the cruise videos and and this. And just so you guys know, as far as date, um, like today is June 26th. And so this video is going to post a while after today, but we can't post it in real time because we're in the middle of the cruise series. Right. <laughs> Friends, we love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging out with our friend. Um, Jordy, thank you so much for, uh, for coming and hanging out with us for a few days. Yep. Um, and thank you, Leanne. For trusting for us. For trusting us with your child. <laughs> no kidding. It was funny. We were texting Leanne the whole time. Like, even she texted us when she dropped Jordy off at the airport in California. And it's like, we just texted her like, okay, we got her back through TSA. Like, <laughs> it's just like yeah, that's a, that's a big deal that you trust us. And we had a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. Also, who whose friends are we more? Are we more her parents' friends? Are we more Jordy's friends? Are we, where do we fall? <laughs> <laughs> or do we not want to start this argument? I mean, age-wise, we're kind of right in the middle. Uh, that's what I mean. It's like... Both. Who, both? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to let you guys in your own home figure that out. <laughs> you guys fight it out. Friends, we love you guys so much. We'll see you on the next Lug Life video where we bring you back up to real time with whatever the heck's been going on in life. Sure. All right, bye, friends.